<laughs> the results that matter and political reaction live through the night now on BBC One. Elections 2024. Good evening. Within the next few months, there'll be a general election. You will choose who leads the country for the next five years. But millions of you in England and Wales have been voting today to decide who's in charge of bins, care and crime where you live. Those decisions make a huge difference, but the results will give us a massive indicator of our politicians' fortunes as we hurtle towards the big contest. The Prime Minister's tried to look cheerful on the campaign, but he's been under the cosh for many months. If the results are gruesome, could Rishi Sunak's job even be at risk? Will Sir Keir Starmer be able to show convincing progress tonight? Labour's been miles ahead in the polls for months, but it's real-life votes that really matter. Ed Davey and his army of Lib Dem activists want to call time on the Tories, but in how many parts of the country will they actually get their way? Thousands of council seats are up for grabs. There's a by-election in Blackpool. Police commissioners are being chosen too, and there are elections for those powerful mayors around the country. It adds up to the biggest test of public opinion before the general election. And Rita Chakrabarti will bring us the numbers as the hours tick by. These are the seats that the main parties are defending. Just under 1,000 for the Conservatives and for Labour, just over 400 for the Liberal Democrats. Counting overnight are 641 local council seats on 35 English councils. There'll be three police and crime commissioners and also that House of Commons seat of Blackpool South. I'll be bringing you the results and looking at the figures and the trends behind them. Of course, the nation's number cruncher, Professor Sir John Curtis, will explain how the landscape is shaping up. And our political editor, Chris Mason, will tell us what that could mean. Top politicians from the parties will be with us in the studio with smiles or perhaps brave faces as the night goes on. So stay with us for election night on the BBC. The results are about to start coming in. A very warm welcome to election night on the BBC. Now, there is a dizzying array of contests to keep our eyes on. Each race, of course, important in its own right. But in this feverish atmosphere in the months before a general election, the overall picture we can build as the night goes on is so vital. Now, there are two things we have to bear in mind. The last time these seats were up was in 2021, when Boris Johnson was in charge. And it's not so much election night, but election 48 hours. It's going to take a while for all of the results to come in. So we'll know a lot by 6 a.m. and the end of our time together, but not everything. One of the most important races, though, is the by-election result at Blackpool South. We'll be there on the ground in a few minutes, and we will have that result this evening. We'll, of course, be right round the country with our colleagues at Counts. And at the desk with us for the first part of the night, the Cabinet Minister, Chris Heaton-Harris, for the Conservatives, Bridget Phillipson, who wants to be Labour's next Education Secretary, and Manira Wilson, her opposite number in the Liberal Democrats. I wonder who's feeling nervous and who's feeling chipper. But first off, let's start with our political editor, Chris Mason.